And a very good morning to you. I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Monday morning, the 11th of July, the year 2022. And this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. John chapter 3, verse 16. Probably the most famous scripture verse in the whole Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, I want to tell you about a young man. His name was Ed Harrison, a dynamic young horse trainer from the USA. He died last week in Namibia while on a horse training tour. I had the privilege on a previous trip when he came to South Africa of spending valuable time with this dynamic young man. His greatest desire was to tell people about Jesus. He made no apologies about his faith. He would open his teaching clinics in prayer and speak unashamedly about his friend Jesus. Well, he's not here any longer. The question is, where is he today? We might say and be honest, we don't really know. Well, Thomas, one of the disciples, asked Jesus the same question in John chapter 14 and verse 5. He said, Lord, when the Lord said, I'm going to prepare a place for you, he said, but Lord, we do not know where you are going. So how can we know the way? And verse 6 of John chapter 14, Jesus said, Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one goes to the Father but by me. You see, it's not about being a good person. No, we've got a saying, and you know it well, good people don't go to heaven. Believers go to heaven. Now, you might say, how can you justify that statement? Well, remember the thief on the cross, minutes before he died. And he deserved to die according to Roman law. He was a thief. He said, Lord Jesus, remember me in heaven. He acknowledged Jesus as his Savior. And what did Jesus say? He said, today you will be with me in paradise. I just sent somebody maybe listening to this message who is afraid of death because we are all going to die. That is a given. I want to pray for you. I want to pray a simple prayer because that's what Ed Harrison would want me to do. I'm going to pray very slowly and I would ask you to pray this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior. I believe that you are the Son of God. Please forgive me from all of my sins. I promise today that I will serve no other God but you. Thank you for showing me the way home. Amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.